My name's Rob, I'm from APS Garden Machinery and I like to talk about the KM56 Combi Engine and how to start and what she's all about, what benefits you get. As you can see here, the KM56 is similar to the FS56 Stringer, which it is, it basically is the same, but it's the shaft's been cut in half. And purely for that is that you're able to put on any of these heads to my left or to your right, which I will talk about these in the next video. But at the moment, I would like to talk about how to start and what these buttons and recoils are all about to make it easy for you when you do start up. I did explain this in the FF, FS56 streamer, but this time I'm going to put some juice in it so you can actually see the engine cough or catch and pitter out so you can understand uh, what I'm saying and be on the same page as me basically. Okay, so with this combi engine here, it's a 1.1 horsepower engine. It has three starting positions, run, half choke and full choke. And, and to enable you to push, uh, to get the choke onto full choke, you have to push the, the choke lever in and then twist it all the way to the top. And the reason why you want to have full choke is for those cold mornings or for just when you want to give it a little kick, just, just to the beginning of the day. And then after that, she should start on half choke or sometimes majority of the time with this warm weather that we do get on just normal run and she's fine she's absolutely good when you do put it onto full choke you've got a primer bulb here and you squeeze the petrol from the tank into the carburetor only a few squirts and that's it the recoil system here has an ergo start system what they've done they've built another recoil in there that what happens is when you're pulling the recoil very gently, and I'll show you in a, in a minute, it actually starts putting energy into the recoil and it kind of brings it together. And at a certain point, it releases that. So all that energy is built up inside, it then transfers to the crankshaft. So all you're doing effortlessly is just pulling it two thirds of the speed that you normally would do on any other make of strimmer. So that enables to start the engine. So when you've got it in full, going back to the choke, when you've got it in full choke, all you want to hear is a cough. Sometimes it might just catch and then pitter out after a few minutes. Don't think, oh, blimey, I'll get, get back and try and start her again. All you're going to do is then flood the carburetor. Once you hear that cough or it's, pit, it's pittered out after a few seconds, push the recall, um, sorry, push the choke lever to half position, half choke, and do the same procedure again. Press the primer bulb and then pull the recoil and then the engine will catch. It'll, keep, it'll go at 70% full revs and then once it's warmed up after 5 or 10 seconds, perfect. Then what you do, you squeeze this, squeeze the trigger, the throttle lever and what happens is the actual choke lever resets itself to normal run. So you never have it on half choke and it won't flood. So when I squeeze that, there, you heard the click, it's gone straight down to the normal run. So that's as simple as it. So what I'd like to do is just show you, right, just bear with me a second. Just get, that, just get the funnel. If I just show you the, um, here I'm using two stroke oil, I'm using the green oil, and I do explain about the difference between the green and the red. This, this stabilises the petrol. So if you have this in your shed or garage for more than three months, up to two years, it stays fresh. With the, with the other petrol uh, oil, it, um, it goes, not the oil itself, it has, doesn't have the, the additive to keep the petrol fresh. But if you are, do want to know a little bit more, please go on my other web well, video and you'll see the difference between the red and the green. So I'll pour some of this in here. Green is getting more popular because people are realising they're not using the petrol within three months. And basically this, this will keep it fresh up to two years. So there you go, I'll put some in there. easy twist 
standard cap on here. Some other ones that are available have the push and twist. Generally all these steel uh, strimmers have now got the just normal cap. Right, so now I've got the petrol in there. I explained to you before. I'm going to put the choke lever onto full choke and then I'll squeeze the primer bolt a few times. Now you've got to remember this is brand new so being brand new it might take an extra few pulls than necessary when you when it start uh, not bedded in but when you've been using it a few times and I'm starting on, on a bench which is not a good position I've got to stand up I'm only five foot seven on the best days so and I'm pulling with my left arm which is the weakest arm of the two so I'll just show you give it a few pulls So on this occasion, that wasn't loud enough for you, is my pulls with my left arm and I'm not in the best position from being on the ground. So I'm really struggling and it fired up lovely. But there you go, just showed you it caught and it's pitted out. I'm not going to rush because I don't need to. I'll put this on half choke. I'll give it a few more squirts. And then I'll give a few more pulls. I can't say no more than that. That is how good Stills machines are. I'm starting every time. As long as you remember to actually uh, go by half choke, a uh, full choke cough or if it pitters out that's that's your signal go on the half choke once it's um all the procedure i've said it is just absolutely phenomenal the best that you can ever get on the market so there you go if there's any questions or anything else you need to know please give me a call or email us or look down on our website and i'll be happy to get back to you and let you know if you with your questions thank you very much Looking forward to seeing you and all the other attachments will be on my next video. Thank you.